Hello. This video provides a demonstration of survival analysis using the Kaplan-Meier method in SPSS. The presentation is based in part, or in large part, on example data provided by Luke and Home in 1998. A copy of the data, as well as this PowerPoint that contains more information than will be covered in the video, can be downloaded from the links underneath the video description. So if you find the video and supporting materials helpful, please take time to like the video and share the link with others. So here we have a subset of the data provided by Luke and Homan in their 1998 article. Uh, the last variable motivation level is actually a variable that I've created for the purpose of this demonstration, but everything else is coming from that article. So we're going to, going to be using the Kaplan-Meier survival analysis method to test for group differences in survival until relapse following release from inpatient alcohol treatment. The observation period was a 30-day post discharge period. The weeks variable is the number of weeks until relapse or right censoring of a particular case and the event variable is the status or censoring variable coded 0, censored, 1, terminal event was observed and that terminal event was relapse. So for our first example we will examine differences in survival curves between persons who received inpatient treatment coded 1 on the group variable versus detox only coded 0. Example 2, we will uh, examine differences in survival curves between persons who are low, medium, or high in motivation. And once again, that motivation level variable was created for this demonstration. So here we have our data opened up in SPSS. I'm going to click on Analyze, go to Survival, and then click on Kaplan-Meier right here. I'm going to go ahead and reset this. So we're going to move, we're going to be comparing the two uh, treatment groups. So we're going to move the group variable to the factor box. We're going to move the weeks variable to the time box and event variable, which is our status or censoring variable, to the status box. We'll click on define event right here. And because relapse is our event and it was coded 1, I'm going to put a value of 1 in here. Click on continue. Where it says compare factor, I'm going to click on test statistics. There's log rank, Breslow, and Tyrone Ware uh, tests. Most of the time, log rank is used, but these other tests also offer uh, additional information concerning group differences. So we'll click on continue. Under options, I'm going to request the survival plot and hazard plot and continue that. Then click on OK, and we get our output. So we have a survival table. Um, with our uh, detail details from the two groups. So there's the detox group versus the treatment group. Scrolling down, you can see that we get the means and medians for survival time in this table. We have our comparison, our group comparisons, test for uh, uh, differences in survival curves between groups in our overall comparisons box. You can see that we have our plot of the survival functions for the two groups as well as the hazard function for the two groups. So to begin, let's look at the survival table, and I w just wanted to mainly note that unlike the life table approach that organizes survival data into intervals, the Kaplan-Meier approach organizes the data based on the timing of event occurrence. Moreover, it does provide greater detail concerning censored cases. Here we have the plot of the survival functions for the two groups. So you'll notice that our time variable is weeks and it's uh, provided along the x-axis and then we have cumulative survival along the y-axis and so you can see that the, the values on this axis range from 0 to 1 and so right around here this would be the median survival time and so we can basically interpolate uh, the number of weeks uh, for the median survival time for the two groups. So rather than drawing this out, I just went ahead and, and sort of created this slide. And so you can see that the intersection between this horizontal line and vertical lines for the two treatment groups are right around here. Um, and so you can see that for the treatment group that was the non-detox group, the uh, median survival was around 17 weeks. And for the detox only group, the median survival is around nine weeks. That's just kind of looking at uh, this particular plot. Now, uh, fortunately, we also get the means and median survival time for the two groups. And so you can see right here for the detox group, indeed, the median survival time was nine weeks. For the treatment group, it was indeed 17 weeks. 
if we want to compare the two survival curves, these are the results that we can use um, in terms of uh, carrying out the uh, significance test. So you can see that we have the log rank test right here. It's non-significant. The Breslow test right here is non-significant. Tyrone wear test is non-significant. So these test results all suggest that the survival curves are not significantly different between the two groups. Okay, so for our second example, we are going to be using the motivation level variable as our factor. So I'm going to go to Analyze, go to Survival, Kaplan-Meier, and I'm going to take the, this group variable out, put motivation level in. So under Compare Factor, we'll go ahead and leave it as pooled over strata, and uh, we'll click on Continue. We'll leave um, our plots click for Survival and Hazard right here. We'll click on OK and we again we get our output and you can see the means and medians for the survival times for the three groups in this case. We also have our test for overall comparisons comparing the three groups um, overall in terms of their survival curves. So in this particular case we can see that the median survival uh, time was the shortest when motivation level was low. Um, and it was highest when motivation level, you guessed it, was high. So um, in the low motivation group, uh, the median survival time was six weeks. In the median, um, in the medium uh, uh, motivation group, the median survival time was 10 weeks. In the high motivation level group, the median survival time was 28. So here we have our log rank tests. Um, and uh, Breslow test, Tyrone wear test. You can see that if we use the conventional 0 .05 level, the log rank test would not be statistically significant. But the Breslow um, test and the Tyrone wear test both do indicate statistical significance with respect to the survival curves. Now, if you want to follow up with some pairwise tests, you can do that as well. Uh, if you go back and you rerun the analysis and just uh, um, press this button right here, pairwise over strata, then the results that you get will include will look like this. So you have pairwise comparisons. So you have basically low versus medium, low versus high. These are the p-values for those comparisons. So you can see that the comparison of the low motivation group and the high motivation group is statistically significant. Um, you can also see that we have uh, right here we have basically the high versus medium and that that difference was non-significant and you'll notice that some of the results I mean they basically are repeated in here so it looks very much like uh, a Tukey's post hoc test or some or uh, other post hoc tests associated with analysis of variance if you're running the analysis using SPSS. So that concludes this demonstration of survival analysis using the Kaplan-Meier method in SPSS. Thank you very much for watching.